Hi guys, uh, this is a, a follow-up video um, on uh, the video I made a few days ago about uh, NXT and um, the bear market and uh, uh, just first I have to put some things uh, straight uh, Kushti, uh, I thought he was uh, had taken a step back from NXT but that is not the case he is still uh, plotting world domination for NXT so that's really great to hear um, and also the amount of transactions per day um, is um, is um, is not one one thousand uh, uh, per day, but it actually the average is about two thousand two thousand five hundred per day, um, and it has gone down uh, for in two thousand fifteen uh, at the start of the year it was around four thousand five thousand uh, transactions per day on average, so it has about halved. Mm. But you know what's uplifting for me is to see that the same happened with Bitcoin when it went up from thirty dollars to two thirty dollars in two thousand eleven and then collapsed to three dollars. Eh? Uh, the same drop as NXT has done a cut in ten, eh? uh, ten times uh, worth ten times less since the all time high. Um, also, the amount of transactions then for Bitcoin it was about ten thousand per day was cut into um, into half as well to 5,000 per day. So um, NXT uh, has about half the amount of transactions that uh, Bitcoin had at the time. NXT is valued 8 million today and when Bitcoin had about 5,000 uh, uh, tra transactions per day and was valued only at the low of uh, $3 then um, the total market cap of Bitcoin was then um, and now I have to guess a little bit uh, it was um, I don't know so it, it must it must have also been somewhere around 10 million 50 million between 10 and 50 maybe 20 30 million so you see actually comparable valuations if you look at the amount of transactions per day um, uh, but uh, but most importantly, um, of course, the cryptocurrencies are um, the value of cryptocurrencies comes not from its usage today. The value is speculative. Speculators slash investors are valuing cryptocurrencies today, not uh, for what it is, how useful it is today, but how useful it will be in the future. That's what speculators slash investors do. People complain about that sometimes. They say, look, uh, uh, the value, there's only speculators here in the cryptocurrency scene and, and, there, and there's no real usage. But that's very normal for any new asset, any new discovery um, will be valued by speculators because there is no real usage yet because it still needs to be developed. Um, I, al I always like to bring up uh, the discovery of the West um, first um, by uh, gold seekers who, who, and then uh, later on by farmers uh, and then later on by um, uh, basically speculators. Um, in America uh, it's very interesting to study uh, how prices of, uh, of land uh, uh, um, were valued um, before the masses uh, came to the West. So what you had in America was that actually the West was unreachable. Uh, transportation with um, uh, uh, horse and carriage, uh, even that was really, 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 really far uh, and uh, very dangerous. Um, and so um, only when trains uh, canals, of course, were not reaching so far, and only uh, when train tracks were built did the West uh, uh, area, Los Angeles, became um, accessible for the masses. And what you saw that uh, uh, prices of land um, went up tremendously uh, before the train tracks were finished. Um, um, and before there was any real usage of that land, the prices went up enormously 
and only um, and then when the masses came with the trains uh, the prices were very very high already and of course the masses paid those prices uh, and uh, but did not make those profits in fact of course there was a bubble and f at first the prices went down and so they lost money the masses but they did get a great deal compared to prices in the east and opportunities in the east which were much lower um, so uh, b the same with t the famous tulip bubble uh, when in uh, in the Netherlands um, around 1600 um, there was uh, a, a, a boom in trade with the East uh, uh, with all the, I, the new discovered lands uh, thanks to the at the time very advanced technological uh, uh, sailing ships that uh, were built and the new uh, upcoming of actually um, stock markets, crowdfunding as they call it today um, but um, that was very new at the time that uh, there would be um, uh, voluntary um, uh, uh, very wide scale um, attraction of uh, money for a project which was those big very expensive sailing boats to um, uh, discover new lands and do new uh, open up new trade lines uh, and basically make a lot of money by importing goods from very far or selling goods from here to there um, and um, one of those goods was tulips that was discovered somewhere I don't know where and that was imported in the Netherlands and people loved those flowers they were so beautiful and um, and and they were very surprising because um, you get those tulip balls uh, which all look like onions but then uh, later you have all kind of different colors uh, coming out and um, and uh, the value of those tulips was um, um, bit up very high but this was like but it was a new discovery and um, uh, the value was bit up way, of course, way too high. Uh, uh, but interesting uh, is that actually today, uh, hundreds of years later, 400 years of fact, the Netherlands has the biggest tulip industry of the world, exporting everywhere in the world and making loads of money with it. Uh, so, um, uh, there was actually good reason to be so enthusiastically at the time about these tulips and they would become a, a, a real, real money maker. Um, so, uh, so today uh, the same is happening in cryptocurrency, um, but valuations in my opinion are certainly not of the kind of uh, the tulip bubble at the time or the dot-com bubble uh, that was in 2000. Uh, not at all. Uh, the total valuation of the cryptocurrency market is today three four, to four billion US dollars. Uh, that's four thousand million. Um, at the time, uh, with, with, with the dot com bubble, uh, only Microsoft was worth not four billion, but thousand billion. Huh? Uh, Microsoft peaked out at that valuation in two thousand, and then you had all the other. Uh, dot com companies that were um, real dot com companies that were valued in the many many billions per company eh? uh, today we have only one cryptocurrency that's valued a few billion not thousand billion or not five hundred billion or not hundred billion but three billion and that's bitcoin and uh, and all the others are valued uh, almost zero so um i do believe strongly that we will get uh, a real bubble in cryptocurrency but we are not there yet i expect this to be in five to ten years time um, and um, and uh, uh, then indeed valuations will be uh, in the trillions like any uh, bubble uh, uh, valuations go in the trillions not billions eh? so thousands of billions um, as was with the dot-com bubble as was with the real estate bubble as is with the bond bubble today um, or the gold bubble uh, also uh, uh, five years back 
the valuation of gold uh, is uh, not uh, uh, 7 billion but today 7000 billion and at its peak it was 14000 billion that's 14 trillion um, and then all the other commodities also were valued a lot higher so um, cryptocurrency uh, is um, uh, is also and that's very important it's that is not it's not a company it's a currency so comparing the value of a currency with the value of a company is not correct um, you have to compare currencies with currencies gold is a currency and the valuation of that is seven thousand billion uh, US dollar is a currency and the valuation of that is 4,000 billion eh? uh, Euro the same about 4,000 billion um, In total all currencies in the world fiat currencies plus gold and silver uh, are valued and Of course you have other currencies too, but that's not worth bothering with are valued around 40,000 billion eh? so 40 trillion and cryptocurrencies are going to take a bite out of that um, and will make the market a lot bigger um, because today currencies are not valued highly because they suck uh, gold sucks uh, as a currency uh, the only thing you can do with it is put it store it somewhere but you cannot use it as a currency anymore so um, um, and uh, US dollars suck as a currency, fiat uh, sucks as a currency because they are all monopolies and um, they, um, are, they go down in value very quickly so you can't store them, you can only use them to transfer money uh, to people and uh, you have to get rid of them quickly so um, <laughs> But that's because money was not a free market. It has been monopolized through violence by govern, govern, governments for um, not decades, but centuries, actually. Um, um, and it's only now becoming a free market. And so, uh, but indeed currencies, the valuation of a successful currency is much higher than the valuation of a successful company. Um, so, um, and that certainly is not the case today. It is the case today, but only with a few monopolized uh, uh, currencies uh, and gold, but um, you will get a real free market of currencies and the valuations will go a lot higher. Of course, uh, this is all, uh, all things can change, we could get uh, a change of poli political uh, um, direction and they may decide to clamp down on it and to uh, ban, outlaw it and uh, use violence against people that uh, use cryptocurrencies. Uh, these things are happening in that case, of course, um, we will not get such a, a flourishing market, but very likely it will remain uh, existent on the black market mm. but um, yeah uh, so uh, did I want to say anything else um, yeah I want to say something more about business models of cryptocurrencies this is not very well understood uh, I said something about that uh, in the previous video but um, yeah, what I see is that in NXT community some people continue to propose uh, things where, uh, for example, they would like that uh, asset exchange, the NXT asset exchange, that you can also use other currencies uh, there to uh, trade uh, the assets quoted on the exchange. Um, and, uh, well, you know, this is the same as proposing uh, that um, uh, you should be able to transfer on the Bitcoin network eh, other uh, 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 cryptocurrencies um, like or um, yeah I mean that totally pushes out the investors like you invest the, the investors they buy 
Um, it's the same as, okay, you invest in a company and then uh, somebody proposes, okay, so we have this very successful product of the company, which for NXT Asset Exchange is the most successful service that NXT has produced up until today. Uh, and so we have this very successful software or service or product. Okay, that's great. Now let's, uh, wh why not uh, um, give that to this other company? Eh? And then uh, they can sell that uh, also. No, of course not, because it's our property. You don't give that away. We, we worked hard to achieve this and we want to get rewarded with this. It's our, we own it. Huh? And uh, it's the NXT investors, those that invested in NXT coins, um, together with the developers, of course, that uh, made this happen. But if there would not be NXT investors, the value of NXT today would be zero and there would not be NXT developers neither. It's thanks to valuing the NXT coin that there is today a project. If nobody would value that coin, there was no project today, very, very likely. Um, it's a, a feedback loop. And, uh, and so proposing to, 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 to let other currencies, uh, I, things, that so that you don't need NXT anymore to to use the very valuable services that NXT offers is really like um, screwing over uh, all NXT coin holders and all NXT investors and uh, that would be uh, I think uh, that's the end of uh, of the project I think um, so uh, yeah understanding this business model is crucial um, and I think NXT uh, does that very well by offering the NXT monetary system, uh, allowing other people to launch their own cryptocurrencies in a very easy, user-friendly, although on that level there is still some work. If I see the uh, interface, how to launch a currency, uh, but still, I mean, it's just filling in some parameters, basically, understanding the parameters, filling them, and, 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 and launching and clicking... Uh, uh, Launch and voila, there you have your cryptocurrency. So, um, yeah, I think uh, uh, NXT is really headed the right direction there. Um, so, uh, what else? Oh, timing. I think uh, the biggest question we have to ask ourselves is indeed timing. There is a good video someone linked. Uh, I will link it below uh, also. Um, uh, is that... Um, uh, uh, IPOs, startups, a lot depends on the timing. Is the market ready for this? Because you can create a great service or product, have a great team, uh, uh, super execution, good marketing, although NXT, uh, I think, yeah, it is what it is. It could be a lot better, but it could be a lot worse too. We have, all, I think, NXT has a lot of, uh, in the crypto uh, community, on the forums, uh, Bitcoin talk, has very good, I, the people that promote there do an amazing do job, Dadlus, Evil Dave, and there are uh, some others too, even, I think, people like, um, what's his name, Decentralized Economics, although he can be uh, in your face and harsh, uh, he does point to the, uh, S I, uh, point, he is making a lot of publicity for NXT, he creating enemies, that's true, but um, uh, he also uh, shows to many people what makes NXT stand out. That is truly the follow-up of Bitcoin. It really embraces the philosophy of Bitcoin. You have a decentralized crypto currency, but uh, NXT is crypto platform. Um, so, so I think we do have a lot of uh, marketing, active marketing, and of course uh, all all the work that people like uh, Boss does via the NXT Foundation, uh, but, uh, and also people like uh, Lee Gibson Grant. Um, yeah, a lot of people are promoting NXT behind the scenes or in front and, uh, and uh, we do have that. Mm. But yeah, uh, sometimes I'm very surprised how other projects get so much attention in the Bitcoin community, like Ethereum got so much attention. Um, uh, and other projects too, uh, and NXT seems to really have to fight uh, to get some attention in the Bitcoin community. Um, but that's the 
there are, seem to be two levels. You have the forums, and then you have the yeah, the the, the, the conferences or podcasts or or uh, where yeah, it's it's different. Anyway, um, what I want to say is timing is very important. Is the market ready? Yeah, because you can do everything perfect, but if the market is not ready, you will not be successful. Um, I do think the market is ready for NXT for certain services offered by NXT, such as the asset exchange, which is the most successful one until today. In the Bitcoin world, it really is a problem. There is a great need to launch assets for Bitcoins, to sell them, uh, to um, to launch IPOs, crowdfunding. Uh, it's not currencies that they launch. No, they launch companies and uh, they want to um, attract uh, money, uh, uh, Bitcoins and um, and uh, but there has been so many disasters uh, like exchanges is the biggest problem in the Bitcoin world exchanges to exchange fiat for crypto for Bitcoin such as Mongox going broke and many others eh? uh, but also exchanges to uh, asset exchanges stock markets uh, a lot of them have been launched and a lot of them have been gone broke so uh, because it's centralized that's a big big one of the biggest problems in the Bitcoin world is the centralized exchanges and the counterparty risk that uh, they have. Uh, um, so I, I do think this is one of the biggest problems in the Bitcoin world and NXT is addressing that by offering an NXT, a, a decentralized exchange um, that is, can be accessed by anybody, can launch an asset, asset there, you don't need approval from anyone. Um, and uh, uh, it is truly decentralized. The exchange will not go down if you take uh, down a few clients. Now you have to take down all clients, which is impossible to do uh, with violence. And so it truly is decentralized. So, um, uh, and that's why the asset exchange is successful, I think. Of course, because the time is right. Uh, of course, it is not like it could be a lot more successful eh, if you see at uh, things like Facebook or YouTube how fast these things has have grown since the start in amount of new users like Bitcoin uh, NXT is nothing compared to that but I think that um, you have to put that in the right time frame uh, things like YouTube and uh, 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 Facebook are not the first services offered on the internet. It's actually 15 years later that these services were launched because the internet started at the beginning of the 90s and uh, the popular internet with HTCP, WWW, uh, World Wide Web, uh, started in the 90s, beginning of the 90s. And um, um, by 95, you had also uh, email services uh, that became popular. Uh, and web, But only in 90, was it 95 or 93, you had the first browser, uh, and then, um, which was Mosaic. And then in, by 96, 95, 96, 97, you had um, the first, like, uh, the big money coming in and launching IPOs, uh, such, such as uh, uh, Netscape, that was uh, uh, basically uh, uh, bought, uh, uh, allez, the founder of uh, Mosaic, which is today active in the cryptocurrency community too, which is Mark Andreessen. Eh? was uh, hooking up with, uh, I forgot the other guy's name, to, to set up Netscape, uh, which was then the, the follow-up browser, and which was sold for a lot of money per uh, copy. Uh, and, um, and people then, uh, that browser was very successful and money made a lot of business uh, money. And, um, and uh, by when they then uh, went to the stock market, they were valued uh, um, uh, very high. I don't know the valuations. Um, and by uh, 2000, you had then the, uh, actually the dot-com bubble who only st started in 98 when valuations started to go up um, a lot uh, and by 2000 it peaked out. But um, <laughs> cryptocurrency is a now not, uh, is now somewhere, uh, Bitcoin started in 2009, uh, so now it's 2015, so that's six years old. Um, so 
but probably somewhere, if you compare it with the internet, uh, I think we're somewhere uh, around 95. Uh, in, so we're five years in. Um, I think valuations are, are also comparable. Uh, all cryptocurrency uh, industries uh, worth uh, four billion. I think roughly estimated by 95, all the uh, internet companies were worth that. Also, uh, all the internet companies combined. Um, and of course, that was not five billion at the time. But if you calculate real inflation, which almost everybody does wrong, but real inflation is five percent per year. So prices double about every 15 years. Eh? So valuation of today, um, we're now um, uh, 2015, so uh, 95 is 20 years ago. Eh? So today, 5 billion, uh, uh, the same amount of value was about uh, 2 billion in 95. Eh? So the total market cap of all internet companies was about around 2 billion. I don't know that I never calculated it, but uh, 2 billion is a very low amount for a whole industry. Um, so that is, looks correct to me. Um, and then in five years time, the, that whole dot com uh, industry went from a valuation of 2 billion to a uh, thousand times more. Um, so, uh, and with crypto, the same can uh, happen, I think. And I think there is a good chance that it will happen that in five to 10 years time, the total valuation of all cryptocurrencies will not be today like 4 billion, but will be 4,000 billion. So go up another thousand times as it has done in the past. Bitcoin went up thousand times and more even. So and NXG, even though it has gone down a lot from 80 million to 8 million, it still has gone up a lot because it was valued uh, at the IPO was valued 21 bitcoins when Bitcoin was worth hundred dollars. So that's two thousand dollars. The first valuation of bit of NXT, the first investor stepped in at that price, um, and now it's worth eight million. So it has gone up a lot still today, even though it went down a lot too. It still has gone up a lot. So. Um, Similar price rises, I think, are likely. Not certain, but likely. So voila, a little more optimistic video. The bear market was getting to me also, but um, uh, I think the timing of NXT is right by offering services that are really in need, such as the asset exchange. I think it is crucial that NXT stays needed, absolutely required to use that great feature and continues to be so in order for NXT investors to profit uh, and to reap the rewards as well as developers who, if they are wise, have also NXT currency. Um, um, so, uh, and I think uh, uh, services like uh, launching your own cryptocurrency, albeit it is picking up slowly right now, um, I think it is also uh, going to be really, uh, I has a very good chance to be really successful. Um, so voila, that was it. Bye guys.